Good afternoon and welcome to another GM deal on the vlogs and today we're going to be talking about this mystery parcel that we ordered from Sutton Seeds now the price was £37.50 and it supposedly contains £150 of the products I've seen mixed uh, reviews on YouTube, some good, some bad so we're going to open this together and we're going to see what we got best wrap fast in the world been delivered by Yodel a little bit of scoffs and the tape where you pretty poor to pull it off and let's hope it's okay inside let's straight up we've got a lot of packaging and right let's look at the first item um, Ellie Foot uh, as seen on High Street TV and it's uh, an amazing way to compress your rubbers. Looks like it's some kind of uh, round circle with a handle so you can compress your bins, compost bins, waste storage bins, anything like that. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people saying they've been having these. Right, the next item out is a, or two rather, garden flat base scoops in pink. I suppose these are used for if you've got a compost bag, digging the compost out of the bag. Um, we have already got a couple of these and we also use them for uh, cleaning out our rabbits and feeding the rabbits their food. Always handy. Not really my colour, but that's what you get. Uh, it looks like we've got another one as well in blue. A blue one. Oh, two blue ones. Purple. The purple. Purple? Oh, yeah, purple. So I'm colour blind, so. Purple they are, well done Ben. So another two of those. And we've got some size 7 ladies gloves. As you know, it's Ben and I gardening, so probably wouldn't use those, but I'll pass them on to um, somebody up the allotment that probably will uh, be doing somebody a good term with those. Good pack of seeds here. And we've got cabbage, uh, F1 Lodero, got some borage seeds and I've heard of these but I've never tried them and they're supposed to be um, a fun to grow edible flower and you can make ice cubes or use them to decorate your food. Got some Nestarium orange troika, that's a trailing plant with orange flowers. Another fun to grow one, a uh, dragon flower grow a roaring dragon I'm sure you'll have good fun with trying these out there won't you? Yeah. and they're uh, anti rhinum seeds haven't seen them before so interesting to do these we do grow red beckia and these are the Irish eyes another fun to grow a super smelly sweet pea <sighs> we're going to do some sweet peas aren't we up our arch throughout the allotment yeah so yeah, that'd be good. Got some more sweet pea. These ones are a show bench mix. Some sunflowers, uh, giant seeds up to three centimetres long and grows up to 4.6 metres high. They'll be handy for our competition up the allotment and the sunflower challenge, which Nick's allotment diary does. So I could try them out on that this year. Spinach, a uh, New Zealand variety, don't eat spinach, <laughs> never tried it. This year we do want to try and plant crops that we've never tried. Uh, if we don't like them then we can pass them on with the local food bank um, where they do take all our excess fruit and veg. So we'll have a go at growing them, we'll try them. If we don't like them we'll pass them on. And again another sunflower, uh, this one is a garden statement. 
goes up to 80 centimeters high so a little bit of a smaller plant there but again be handy for the Nick's allotment diary challenge right next item we've got is Sutton seeds chili peppers so it's uh, chili peppers and peppers um, by Sutton Seeds Heritage by Royal Appointment. Quite a nice tin. Can't quite see what varieties they are. It just says chilies and peppers collection. A nice tin there. We've got a bean and pea garden ring. Uh, if you used to be a of beans, peas or sweet pea plants and those hold eight bamboo canes. I'm not seeing a great deal here yet, um, worth the £37.50, let alone the £150 value, but I've got a few more items to go, so we'll have a look. We've got some Recovery uh, by Viano, and this is a revitalising lawn feed, and it's a professional quality, and it's for restoring vigour to your lawn after drought, scarify, neglect or hard play. We do have on plot six of ours grass paths, um, with all the rain and that we've had the air a little bit muddy so it would be a good idea to use that there we then got an onion nut and these are onion troy f1 and they are the autumn planting variety so ideally they need to be planted from september to early december um, but in well drained soil and subject to water logging over the winter we have had a problem with uh, watering um, flooding as you've probably seen in one of our own videos and we do have a lot of onions already so we'll probably store those somewhere nice and dry for next year I hope they'll be okay we then got these cocoa coir blocks one two three four five of them you put them in a bucket add water and they expand quite heavy so doesn't actually say how much you'll get from one block but always come in handy next we've got a bright eyes toadstool with solar lights and it brightens up your garden this charming garden character and this one is the uh, toadstool and it's a durable weatherproof painted polyresin with two ultra bright white LED lights we do have a couple of solar lights on sort of poles at the allotment so we'll probably put that somewhere up there now I'll leave these last two out if you want to put that box up then these are actually quite really heavy and looks to be one of those compostable bags with the brighter chemicals in so have a look what we've got so we've got some eco-effective wonder feeds and it's a multi-action which promotes vigour, yield and colour and it's concentrated with the added bonus of delta a biostimulant to increase nutrient uptake by the plant so yeah this is supposed to promote vigour, yields and colour I'm not sure how much these are to buy individually and this one makes 50 litres next one we got is a grazers and it's effective against damage from cabbage white butterflies cabbage and aphids without harming them it's an eco-friendly for people pets and it's also planet friendly child friendly stimulates and strengthens growth and it's safe to use on edible and ornamental plants now we do uh, like to Neat. garden organic where we can and we have got a um We've got a cage built, haven't we? A brassica yeah. cage. So we don't really have the problem with those, and I probably wouldn't use this, even though it's a, a child uh, friendly and an eco friendly. Um, you know, we, we would rather protect them naturally by using vinyl mesh or the uh, scaffold netting that we currently use. But we'll add that to our collection and make it use one day. Again, another grazers and this one's effective against damage from slugs and snails without harming them 750 ml bottle eco-friendly child friendly stimulus strengthens growth safe to use in edible and ornamental plants again don't know whether we use it but we'll add it to our collection to sell 
here we've got some eco effective contain and basket boost this makes 25 litres and it's a one litre bottle uh, and it's supposed to promote growth colour and helps for lasting blooms of your container and basket boost we have been growing um, baskets before haven't we but last year we we left them and didn't uh, water them enough didn't we made dyes off so it might come in handy for the plants next one out is some seaweed i thought there was a pongy smell in this bag um, but seaweed extract this is approved for organic gardens for naturally bigger better crops would you call that organic probably is because it's been out of the sea um, it's not going to harm any animals and um, this is a one litre box here and it's a chase sm3 so yes probably will use that one in some form and then lastly in there we've got a frog suit wood restorer it removes surface grey fast action 500 mil as you can see there's before and after i'll tell you where that'd be handy you know our two benches up the allotment yeah where they're all faded that'd be good on them if that works and brings out my color that'd be good that'd be good, that'd be good idea for that so yeah, we probably will use that and then lastly we have got here a calendar and it's your 2021 celebrating heritage seed library and yeah it's um, just an organic calendar so what are your thoughts on what you've seen we just spent £37.50 on this I guess I need to look up some of these chemicals and, and uh, plant extracts here see the value of those I don't think it's £150 of, of value do you? No, no definitely, definitely not. not I think what it is is old stock that they've had lying about it's not selling and I thought you know we'd just bundle it all together at the recommended retail price and it probably does if you bought all that individually come to £150 but have we got a value for I would say probably, probably just about just about probably yeah not in the we, we buy these don't we from a pound land for a pound and when they break we just tuck them away these are a little bit stronger any foot well I normally yeah. <laughs> stand you on the compost don't I and you and you tread it down yeah but we can use it for the bins at home chilies we've got a lot of nice tin Callan I've got two or three of so that's our thoughts so i'll just do a screenshot showing you all of the items that we did get and i'll leave a link to sutton seeds if you do want to buy this but my advice probably wouldn't go for that one thanks for watching gmb a lot vlogs and please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video yeah see you later goodbye so ben's just opened his tin and so what's inside ben nothing absolutely nothing what a rip off it's supposed to be a chili and pepper collection and it's an empty tin i uh, think a phone call to sutton's is in order mm -hmm.